Hello, we're looking at the structure of DNA, but just a quick recap before we do that, we're going to look at the detailed structure of DNA, in fact. But here we've got a diagram of a cell, and inside the cell we have the nucleus, which contains these structures called chromosomes, which we've looked at previously. And these chromosomes are found in the cell nucleus. There are 46 in humans, and we describe the chromosomes as made up of supercoiled or very tightly wound up DNA. So there's our supercoiled DNA. If we looked at the structure in a little bit more detail, we saw that it was made of two strands wrapped around each other, and we called that structure a double helix. So there's our double helix of DNA. And along the DNA, small sections of that DNA, we refer to as genes. So in my diagram there, we've got three genes, and these controlled the characteristics not only of the cell, but then eventually of the whole organism. If we look at this section in more detail, we can see how the DNA is actually built up. So here's our small strand of DNA from our previous slide. So that's the DNA double helix, DNA double helix. And if we were to extend that and just separate out the two strands like this, we could see them looking a bit like a, almost like a ladder with parts protruding or projecting inwards. And what would that look like? Well, here we go. This, this is the detailed structure of that part I've just drawn out. So the two strands there, in purple are there with the parts protruding or projecting inwards. So I've just drawn the details of those. If I showed the rest of the molecule, as in the previous diagram, it looks a bit like that. Okay, so that's what I'm trying to show in this diagram. So if we just move remove that out of the way so we can see that a bit more clearly, what we see is that we have these repeating units. So these are all called nucleotides. So I've just highlighted one there. So that's a nucleotide, and in the diagram there, there are 10. In the cell itself, there are billions of these, but I've just drawn out 10. So we can look at the detailed structure of one of those. So we could just pull that one out at the top. Just make it a bit bigger so it's clearer to see. And there are three parts that we need to know. The first part is that pentagon shape that you can see at the, in the middle, and that's a sugar molecule. On the left, we have a phosphate group. That's the circle there. And on the right hand side, we have what's called a base. So the nucleotide is made up of three parts, the phosphate, the sugar, and the base. And there are four different bases that you need to know about. Those are thymine. I'm gonna write out the full names of these. You don't need to remember the full name, but just in case you come across them. There's thymine, adenine, cytosine, and guanine. My favorite one, I like saying guanine. Don't know why. We can use the letters to abbreviate these names. So you don't need to memorize the names. We can use T, A, C, and G for those four different bases. Now there's a certain rule we need to know about these bases. So if I just pull these two strands of DNA apart, let's put in some example bases on that first strand there. So we could just put them all in there, A, T, G, and C. And there's one spare one, so we'll add that in a minute. But the rule is that A always pairs with T, and G always pairs with C. So let's just add a little C there, just for argument's sake. So what's gonna be on the other strand of DNA? Well, opposite the A is gonna be a T, opposite the T will be an A, opposite the G will be a C, and we've got G and G. So the rule is A must always pair with T, and G must, must always pair with C. So if you know the code on one strand, you can work out the code on the other based on that rule. Next thing to know and remember is that the order of these bases on that strand of DNA is really important because it controls the order of amino acids in proteins. The job of DNA is to make proteins, so the order of those bases will control the order of amino acids that the cell will assemble them in, or will control the order in which the cell puts those amino acids together. And as we know, we've said it a lot of times, but it's so important, the amino acids join together to make a particular protein. And examples of proteins could be enzymes, they could be hormones, they could be what we call structural proteins, for example, collagen, which sticks together different tissues in the body. The code for one amino acid then is made up of three bases. So each amino acid is coded for by a triplet of bases, three bases, and we could just use some examples there, ATT, GCA, or TTG. That's just some examples that I've just plucked out just as examples. Okay, so that's the key important details of the structure of DNA and its 
quite complicated in a way, so we could probably just go over it one more time very quickly as a summary just to make sure we really understand it. Okay, so we've got DNA, which is the uh, key topic for this video, in fact, the structure of DNA. So the first thing is that DNA is a polymer, that means a long chain molecule. It's made of four different nucleotides. And there's one example of a nucleotide. We've got the sugar part, a phosphate group, and a base poking out on the right-hand side of that diagram. So there's one nucleotide. There are four different bases. They are A, T, G, and C. We can use those abbreviations. We don't need the full names. The DNA is a long strand, and we can describe it as a long strand of alternating sugar and phosphate groups. So if you look down one of the sides, you'll see sugar, phosphate, sugar, phosphate, sugar, phosphate. And we can also describe it as repeating nucleotide units. We said that three bases, for example, ATC or GTA, code for one amino acid. Remember, there's 20 amino acids that the body works with. And the order of bases in the DNA controls the order in which the amino acids are put together. And that's really important because the order of amino acids controls the particular protein that is made. So there's a summary of our video. Quite important. And you might need to go over it one more time, but that's it for this one. Thank you very much.